Global soccer icon Zlatan Ibrahimović made waves this week when he questioned video game giant Electronic Arts for using his likeness in EA Sports' wildly popular FIFA game. Who gave FIFA EA Sport permission to use my name and face? At FIF Pro? I'm not aware to be a member of FIF Pro and if I am I was put there without any real knowledge through some weird maneuver, he tweeted to his 7 million Twitter followers. Tottenham Hotspur winger Gareth Bale, who is on loan from Real Madrid, joined the fray with the hashtag hashtag time to investigate, and Ibrahimovic's agent Mina Raiola, who is one of the most powerful people in the sport, said in an interview with the UK's Telegraph that roughly 300 players are considering legal action over EA's use of their likenesses. The system is wrong and that is a fight that Zlatan wants to take for all players, said Raiola. Electronic Arts provided Forbes with its first response in the escalating feud. The licensing arguments being played out in social media for effect are not an issue for EA or EA Sports. This is between FIF Pro, the players within their association and their representatives. FIF Pro has told us this is their issue, and they're handling it, we expect a statement to that effect imminently, according to an EA spokesperson regarding its stance on FIF Pro. EA saved its strongest rebuke for Raiola though. This isn't our fight. This isn't about EA sports or video games, players or fans. It's a battle between football agents and FIF Pro. Mina Raiola is a respected player representative who we have partnered with for many years, including this year when our relationship ensured his client Erling Holland would be part of our FIFA 21 marketing campaign, per Electronic Arts. We have also enjoyed a great working relationship with Zlatan Ibrahimović, who has appeared in every FIFA since 2002 and regularly received awards as part of our FUT experience. The video game firm also has a close relationship with Bale. His eSports company, Eleven, uses the EA FIFA game as a key platform for his professional eSports athletes. Bale and Eleven were featured in a recent trailer for the launch of the FIFA 21 Global Series. Negotiating the rights of every player at an individual level isn't a viable strategy. Player withdrawal from this collective approach to rights granting would most results in the inclusion of generic athletes or avatars in video games. Randall Cunningham and Jim Kelly opted out of the NFL Union's licensing agreement, and Barry Bonds did the same in baseball, leading to MLB. 06, the show featuring a San Francisco right fielder named, Reggie Stalker. Navigating the use of likeness in video games is an incredibly complex world. Electronic Arts is the leader in the space and spends hundreds of millions of dollars annually to license content for its games. The bulk of the licensed content comes through league licenses, which typically include club and player rights.